Another main form of annotation in AutoCAD is text. Text is used to label objects in notes, title blocks, and in a lot of other instances. There are two main forms of text, single line text and multi line text. Multi line text has mostly replaced single line text, but single line text does have a few uses. I want to go over it with you very quickly. So let's open up a brand new blank template file. So click on the templates button and just the acad.dwt will be fine. So to create a single line text, you type in dtext. You pick your start point. You tell it how tall you want your text to be, and then your rotation angle. And then you just start typing in your text. When you're finished, press Enter. Now it looks like you're still in the same object and that you're starting a second line, but you really aren't. This puts a new text object directly underneath and perfectly aligned with your first. Now to finish out of here, just click outside somewhere else. Now you can see I'm still in the command and I can start putting text anywhere that I want. So clicking escape will get you out of your text, but you have to press enter first or it will cancel just like it did there for me. So you can see here, this is just one object. It has a grip edit. If I click on it, I can move the text around. If I want to edit the text, double click on it and that will give me access to the text. So you can edit your text just like you would anywhere else. Click outside of it when you are finished. Now text can be rotated, moved, copied, just like any other object. Now keep in mind also that you can edit text through the properties palette. Just press control and one at the same time, select your text, and you have your regular general options. So if you just scroll down here, click the sidebar, and then scroll it down, you can get to a lot of different text options. If you select here, you can change the text. You can change the text style. You can make it annotative or not. You can change the text justification. You can justify it left, right, center, make it aligned, set in the middle. You can also fit it between two points, which is really nice. Now that's one thing that single line text will do that multi-line text will not. You cannot stretch it like this and rotate it and make it fit between two points. That is one use of single line text that you will definitely want to use it for. You won't always notice the justification in single line text. If I select here, I can tell this is left justified because there's only one grip there. But if I change my justification to center, you can see it moved over there. If I grab this, I can switch it or grip edit it, move it around in both ways. If I switch it, to right justification, it goes right there as well. It gives you another point. Now I can draw a line to text through the insert point, and that insert point comes from the justification. Now over here on the left, I need to go to a node. All single text objects have a node, and that's always on the left bottom corner. Keep that in mind. And that's why you see two grips all the time. Now, text fonts are controlled by text styles. Text styles work just like dimension and multi-leader styles do. We're going to take a closer look at those because they're a little bit more in depth. But this is a quick overview of single line text.